Hello folks, Phil Gallagher of Thraben, you here for another Legacy video. Today's video is sponsored by Top Deck. We can take a look at them after round one. So I found this deck in the 5-0 decklist dump, and I knew that I had to play it, because it is a delightful amount of jank that might be good. Uh, I guess we're going to call this deck Death Fit? Fane Fit? No, Fane Fit sounds weird. Alright, Death Fit. So Fane Death is similar to Ephemerate. Until end of turn, target creature gains. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. And we can do a number of really cute things in this deck list with this card. So one of the obvious ones is we can cast the Fane Death on a creature and then sacrifice that creature to Cabal Therapy in order to return it to the battlefield. And this deck is built around sacrificing vet creatures like Veteran Explorer to give you card advantage. But the other thing that this can do is work really well with a pitch creature. So let's say we have an Endurance in hand. We can evoke an Endurance, cast a Feign Death on it, it'll die, and it will come back with an even bigger booty than what it normally has. And if we do that instead with a Grief, we can get two sets of those triggers. So this is a very interesting card. I don't remember exactly what I played with before. I tried an Ephemerate... Um, deck list with, I think, both Endurances and Griefs before in Legacy, and it didn't feel quite good, but I think this might be a little bit better since this also has, like, synergies with the Cabal Therapies, so I'm excited to try this out. So, in addition to just ramping towards some slightly larger than normal sized creatures, we also have an infinite combo. If you have a Witherbloom Apprentice in play, and you target yourself with Chain of Smog, you can repeatedly copy the Chain of Smog, and each time you do so, you will drain one life. And since Wither, Bro 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 since Wither Bloom Apprentice is tutorable via Green Sun, we have a higher density than normal of that card, and kind of the rest of the shell here is a lot of generic nit fit nick fit y stuff, Although we are playing Opposition Agent, which is super cute with Veteran Explorer. So, um, like normally your opponent would get two lands, right? If you control the Opposition Agent, that doesn't happen anymore. Now, I will say I am a little nervous about the lack of removal in this deck list. And one of the versions that I played recently had, and I'm forgetting the name of this card, I want to say it's like Witch's Cauldron, it's like a black and a green, and it's a it's an edict effect, um, and like that card was really good for me last time, Deadly Brew, that's what it is, Deadly Brew, that card was really good for me last time around, and there's nothing like that here, there's no Abrupt Decays, there's no Assassin's Trophies, it's just, like, it, it is what it is, like, it feels kind of like baby Battlecruiser magic in that way. We do have a pile of per pernicious deeds in the sideboard here, uh, which I do really like. That helps with the removal aspect of things. But I really wonder if these Veil of Summers that are in the sideboard should just be some form of removal. Like, I am really not stoked about Veil of Summer as a magic card anymore. Like, I, I think that card was extremely good for a long time, but I'm, I'm really less sold on it now. Um, I am going to continue to play this, like, deck list as it, like, 5 owed, but, like, I'm, I'm very unsure about, like, those cards specifically and the lack of removal, but I don't want to go changing a deck list a whole bunch before I've played it. I don't feel super comfortable doing that here, but, like, because I've never felt how this Fain Death plays out. All right, um, let's go ahead and jump directly into the games here, see how this deck list does. If you like what you see, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I'm planning on doing a giveaway once I hit 15k, hopefully towards the end of the month here. And if you are a regular, throw me a like before this video begins. It's the easiest way to support my content for free. Let's battle. All right, first opening hand. As Grief, Pain Death, not a black card to pitch to it. I don't have true green mana here. I think this one has to be a mulligan. This seems kind of reasonable, right? Pitch questing beast. Yeah, this is very interesting. So I, I keep this and I pitch questing beast. The question from there is like, which card gets pitched to grief? Because I can, I can go grief, pitch, Douthy, void walker, take a card, Fain Death It, take another card, Cabal Therapy, take a third card, or I can have Douthy Voidwalker as the follow-up. I think I like stripping the ever-loving shit out of my opponent's hand here. 
Alright. Um, is there a reason why I need to play a land first? That yeah, seems free to do so. Alright. Grief. Hitch, Dalthy, Voidwalker. I'll put the Evoke one on bottom. So that I can take a card from my opponent's hand. Okay. We're taking it all. I'll take a daze. I will feign death on this creature. I'll return it. And now I get to take another card. I'll take my opponent's lightning bolt. And then next turn I will take expressive iteration from them. With the intention of leaving them with nothing. Nice. Okay. Bash in for four. When it goes to 16. And my only punish here is, like, Brainstorm as their actual card for turn. Really? That's annoying. Yeah, okay. I'll just name some other four of in the deck. Like, I'll just name, like, Murktide Regent here. Ooh, baby! <laughs> oh, that feels good. Uh, I don't think I need to Cabal Therapy them here. Skillfully navigated. And uh, we'll just continue to bash with this 4-3. I am kind of running on empty. Um, my opponent will probably just play Expressive Iteration next turn. I'm going to assume that they kept that card. But it's slightly awkward, right? Like, they can use it to hit a land drop and get something else. But, like, with double Wasteland in hand as their options. Like, 4 mana. But yeah. They're not getting good value out of that card here. A hey, Boseju. I'll hit my opponent for four. And like the question is like, does my opponent actually have basics or is this a land destruction spell? I also might just want to play this as a land, honestly. Like I have a bunch of big dumb shit in my deck and my opponent has wastelands. Like I want to be able to green sun for three around eight days if that's something that I need to do. All right, there's a flooded strand. Sure, like a opponent is nearing death. That's fine. I also have menace on this sucker. Oh, that's cute. Um, yeah, that's very cute. I probably just hold that up. So I bash for four, putting my opponent to one. So I could feign death this thing if it resolves. I cabal therapy target my opponent. Or I can just, like, hold this up as Lightning Bolt Protection, which I think I like better. And I'm not going to play the Cavern. Okay, there goes one Wasteland. That's fine. Block is obligatory here. I'll go to 17. And opponent presumably has some Lightning Bolt effect or other. I'll float a mana. Alright, are you going to go for something in my draw step here? That is a Lightning Bolt. So I will let my opponent surveil. Falling Tarn went into Graveyard, and now I will feign death. I know my opponent has a Force. Oh, um, yeah, that's not that bad. Like, I can Cavern that in the next turn, and it will require another separate answer that's not this Force of Will that I know about. Okay, that's all fine. So, land go. I'll take three. Dropping to 14. Oh, please don't have Murktide. That Chain Lightning is fine. Seems a little interesting to me that they just fire that off now, rather than hold up mana for this. Okay, they had... Alright, they're just gonna play out that. Sure. Um, since this is uncounterable and I know my opponent has Force of Will, I'm, like, on board with this. Elemental. There's the Grief. Uncounterable. Take the Force of Will that I know about. An opponent has to hold back both of these as blockers for next turn. And they can't currently hold back Dragon Rage Channeler. Also, I might have missed a lethal line uh, by fetching a Dryad Arbor just separately. No, no, like, I still would have gotten Wastelanded. No, I didn't miss that. Okay. So what do I want in this matchup? Late lines are probably good. I don't think I like Opposition Agent, especially on the draw. I think, like, Ley Lines become my hate card. Grief was pretty cool that game. Generally speaking, I don't know that Grief is where I want to be. Like, 
since my opponent has large things that can just be in play like Merc Died Regent and Art Advantage engines like Expressive Iteration, I'm not sure that like discard is really the thing that I want to be doing. Like I just want to fuck with my opponent's graveyard via Leyline and Endurance and go from there. Oh, and Douthy Voidwalker. Like, ho holy shit, I have the graveyard covered. I don't think I like Questing Beast. That gets me to this point, and then I can decide, like, how much other stuff like this I want. I'll probably tr trim a couple griefs for these. This may now be too many Feign Deaths. I only have four basics in this deck. Oh, sorry. No, I have them split up. There's Snow Covered. Okay, so I have six basics. Never mind, that's fine. Um, yeah, and I don't think I'm going to play Veil of Summer. Um, yeah, this is fine. I wish I could get a basic swamp with this hand, but this is fine. Don't mind your baubles. And let's see if we have... Okay, we have a Delver. Sure. Just Cavern Veteran Explorer immediately. Probably fine. I'm not worried about exile-based removal. So I can just have this chill here. And I don't think I'm planning on trying to use Feign Death with this Veteran Explorer. I I think I am trying to just get a couple lands out of this card some way or another. Um, that's all fine. Okay, that's expected. No, I don't like that draw. That's not great for me. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and take my natural attack in here. Poke for my one, and then we'll do a post-combat Cabal Therapy. Yeah, fetch, has to be Bayou. Cabal Therapy, target you. I'll name Brainstorm with the first one. Oh, okay. Sure. Like, I'll still get my lands here. Um, I'll just take a non-waste landable version of both. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, what am I most afraid of? I honestly kind of just want to like take something like a ponder because I'm about to blow up one of my opponent's lands. The things that help them get back to two lands sound good. Force of will, okay. All right, now I know. Or sorry, I shouldn't have crossed out that land. That's okay, though. Yeah. All right, nice. I guess Force of Will was probably a better name, right? Because, like, Force of Will is something that they care about if they are stuck on zero lands. Yeah, Force of Will would have been a good name. All right, so I can blow up that land, too. Okay, well. Ooh, it's a deed. Deed's good. Gonna get Force of Willed. But it's good. Uh, let's just continue to nuke my opponent's lands here. Then I have to decide what I'm putting this cavern on. Elemental. Sounds pretty good. What are you? Rogue. I think Elemental's good. Human's also okay. Alright. Alright. Uncount uncounterable Elementals coming in my future. And I get a few turns to try to get through these Force of Wills or this Insectile Aberration. Opponently, opponent, unfortunately, is hitting the land drops. Need them not to hit. Good enough to get countered. This probably isn't good enough to get countered with that much stuff in Graveyard. Can't really play Chain of Smog, like, and then lose this Pernicious Deed. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong and this does get countered, but I don't think it does. Yeah. Absolutely terrified of just, like, land in the Merktide Regent. Uh, I might lose this one for not naming Force of Will. Okay, Pawn's got something else. Okay, I mean, if I can resolve this Pernicious Deed... Okay, so I can green sun for X is three, which represents um, endurance, and that has to get force of willed, and then I can play deed and crack for one next turn. I will die to a lightning bolt. Um, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, opponent also had Merc Tide Regent. So they have a force of will left. I put a card on top of their library, which probably means it's a blue card, so I am probably deterministically dead. Yeah, I, I lost this one for not naming Force of Will with my Cabal Therapy. Like, Ponder was a rational name, but I think, thinking about it for another 30 seconds, I would have named Force of Will instead. So, like, is this a blue card? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I 100% lost that one for naming wrong with Cabal Therapy.
and I think Force of Will is the correct name. I think I like how I've boarded. Like, it's possible I have too many feigned deaths if I've cut three griefs, though. But, like, protecting these things from Lightning Bolt still legit. I think my mana is just, like, too tight to hold up Veil of Summer, especially when I'm getting Wastelanded. Um, hands, kind of whatever. I don't have a way to sacrifice these veteran explorers. I don't have any removal. I don't have anything to do with this grist. I think I'm just going to mulligan this one. Like, it looks okay. This hand is fine. I'm going to pitch this land. Go for a turn two, uncounterable Douthy Voidwalker. And that changes some portion of the time. Like, I, I have two different things here that mess with my opponent's graveyard, which sounds good to me. Um, Vein deaths feel a little awkward if I'm not already ahead on mana. Um, is this the thing that I want to be uncounterable all game, or do I want this to be uncounterable? I kind of want this to be uncounterable. This one doesn't die to lightning bolt. This one does. The awkward thing there being, though, if I fetch basic swamp with this, I can't curve like this into this. Okay, for that reason, I guess I'll make the Douthy Voidwalker uncounterable. All right, that, that is what it is. I don't know, like, I guess I'm not curving out either way, right? Maybe that's wrong. Like, this is und undone by Lightning Bolts and Chain Lightnings. But, like, if I take a turn off to play around days, this is better for me in some ways. All right, so they topped whatever they saw with Dragon Rage Channeler there. All right, I take one. That's a deed. I'm fine with jamming that into days. Yes, I think I am. Like, I play Endurance around days while holding up Feign Death next turn. I think I'm down with that. Ooh, Mystic Sanctuary. Um, surveilled there. Alright, uh, Deed does hit play. There's an Expressive Iteration. The Scalding Tarn. Sure. Might try to Endurance on my own turn to just keep a Merktide Regent from going into play. Wow! Surgical Extraction on Douthy Voidwalker. Wild. An opponent junked a Merktide Regent there. They got their fourth type. Yeah, I'm good with that. I guess I do have Stifle as a thing that I do have to think about. Uh, that's not a good draw. Especially with, like, this in play. Because it does destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment. There's no non-land clause there. Alright. Let's fetch. Grab a forest. Especially since the opponent now, like, knows this is coming. I'm fine just doing it now and trying to clear that graveyard. Alright. So that happens. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this out to give my opponent fewer chances to surveil with this, because they just got rid of a Merktide Regent, and that's the card that I do not want them to have. Like, I don't want to let them, like, ponder with surveil available. Okay, yeah, there. Ex Exhibit A. There's no shuffle with that. Delver, sure. Alright, opponent's low on resources. Um, I just kind of need to top deck well. Yes, I can play you out. If opponent uses some resources on that, like, I'm at the stage of the game where I think that's fine. I am regretting my turn to um, Cavern on Rogue now, though. I think since I'm not curving out anyway, I was just supposed to play that into the days and be fine with it. Get a few turns to draw something that's um, more potent than Delver. No shuffle there, um, which is worrying. Um, this is also worrying. Um, I'll take my attack for one, I guess. Um, but I'm running on empty here. Okay, sure. End of turn. End of turn. Brainstorm is fine. <sighs> Although I don't know, like putting the cavern on rogue, I, rogue, I guess made my opponent think I had multiple of them, which is why they surgicaled it. I guess. So like that's a thing. Another delver. Sure. Love to rip a pernicious deed here. Uh, Veteran Explorer is not doing it for me. I'll take my attack for one. One goes to 13. Jam this Veteran Explorer. Irrelevant. 
Yeah, and here, like, having the dead feign death in my hand is a, this huge detriment. But, like, when we, when we were otherwise, like, at about card parity, like, I ended up with an unusable card. Okay. Opponent's got four of a kind over there. And I am dead to, like, a, a flip plus a lightning bolt. I'm not on very many outs, especially if opponent... Yeah, there's the lightning bolt. Uh, I am dead to that. GG's. Um, I, I do think I lost this match to my play, though. I, like, I think I, I, I win this match if I name correctly with Cabal Therapy. And I also think I named wrong with this cavern. So, like, that one was on me. This video is sponsored by Top Decked which is an all-in-one Magic the Gathering companion app slash website, which can do everything from give you the latest news in Magic to storing your collection to even goldfishing gold hands via their playtest option. And uh, if you're just looking for an all-in-one everything Magic website, you can't go wrong with this one. And let's take a look at the news today. Grinning Ignis banned in alchemy. Hey, isn't that the format where you can just adjust what the cards do? That's kind of weird, but I'm glad I know about this because of Top Decked. All right, um, I have Uncounterable, Veteran Explorer, and Cabal Therapy as things that are happening with this hand. That's fine. I will need to top deck some actual gas. I don't think I'm going to cast Cabal Therapy blind on turn one. I think I'm going to wait until turn two to do that. Hello, I'm playing here and watching your Pox video at the same time. Ah, good luck to you. That's a real fun video. All right, Cavern, Human, Uncounterable Veteran Explorer, let's go. Yeah, uh, I wanted that 5-0 with Pox so bad, and I actually got, oh no, oh no, danger, danger Will Robinson, fuck, fuck, okay, so the thing is, I, like, absolutely would not have hit with Cabal Therapy, um, like, I would have just, like, named something like Brainstorm Blind. The good news is I have a metric shit ton of Graveyard Hate in this deck, and I feel pretty good about games two and three. Uh, game one, though, is a different story. Like, uh, what do you Cabal Therapy if you're the opponent? Pernicious Deed? Endurance? No, I would have Endurance already if I had it. That That's a tough Cabal Therapy. Okay, Dark Ritual is totally reasonable. Uh, uh, wait! Okay, so... If... Yeah, so I can fetch Bayou. Sacrifice Veteran Explorer, get Swamp Swamp, play Douthy Voidwalker. I can attack with this... Reasonably. Because, like, opponent probably doesn't want to give me the land here. Yeah, okay, so... Wooded Foothills, Fetch, Bayou, Cabal Therapy, Target You, uh, we'll name plus two Mace, that's a pretty good name. Opponent did not have a plus two Mace, Cabal Therapy, Sacrifice Veteran Explorer, which gets rid of a bridge from below. I'll use this ability, yes, search for Swamp, Swamp. Um, we'll name a little chat this time. Play Douthy Voidwalker and drop a Veteran Explorer. Hot damn. Now, I, I still have problems. To be clear, I still have some big fucking problems, but like I have top deckable outs to these things. And like the Icarids only get to come into play once, so if I draw something like Caracas to deal with Hogak, I'm good. Okay, there's there's the Gak. Gotta beat that that eight eight. So I have to keep in mind Douthy Voidwalker's ability as well. You trample, right? Yeah, you trample. All right, I'll play a new Douthy Voidwalker. Make a land drop. This is fifteen, and then it's six twelve eighteen. I'll just hold this back as a blocker for the zombie token. All right, opponent goes to 15. It's going to be tight. I can also top deck into my combo. I 
that's another reasonable route that I can take. Uh, yeah. So since this tramples, I soak up the most damage by just going here. And I'll go ahead and get two forests out of this. Like so. Fetch land's super awkward. Uh, like this is 10 damage, so I don't think I want to use this fetch to thin or grab Dryad Arbor. That's a grief. Okay. I want to cast that first. How cool would it be if my opponent just like randomly has another Hogak? The Grave Troll. I have two creatures in my graveyard, so I can make a 2 2 that regenerates. Or I can take a breakthrough, take the troll. I guess for them, the breakthrough is better. All right. Yeah. There's six damage in. That's my opponent to nine, which is like this amount. Like this is nine. So my opponent can attack me with the Hogak and hold back the zombie. No, that doesn't work because this has menace. So my opponent has to hold back. Oh, damn, did we did we wiggle our way into a win here? Oh, fuck. I, uh, no, no. Eight, nine, ten. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm I'm taking that damage. I go to one. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, opponent was just seeing if I would mess up the block. That's reasonable. I was trying to like figure out like what on earth that could have been. I mean, it could have been a lava dart, but you know. Ooh. Okay. Ley lines in. How do I feel about pernicious deed and collector oof? Deed cleans up zombies. I think I'm in for that. It's also just another way to kill my veteran explorers and uh, clear bridges. Electro Oof can stop LED. I don't know that, generally speaking, I'm going to have room for this. I do not need Opposition Agent in this matchup. I probably don't need Questing Beast in this matchup. Like, not being blocked by zombies is cute. I probably cut one of Elder Gargaloth or Questing Beast. Like, this thing has a butt and gains me life. This thing attacks better. The chain of smogs are kind of awkward, but like it is just an infinite combo kill. So like there's that. I don't know which one of these is better. I'm cutting one of them. I think on the draw, I want to cut this one. And then I probably go down some number of feign deaths or chain of smogs. If I just cut the chain of smogs and eliminate that combo kill potential, I I like I am just at the correct number of cards. But I'm not sure if I'm supposed to cut those because it's just an I win when my opponent has put me in a really tough pass the turn spot. I just like can't fairly cast that card in this matchup. Let's play like this on the draw. And I can think about some small changes when I'm on the play. Okay. I have a little bit of an awkward hand. I have an endurance, not a card to pitch to it. I have the Grief Feign Death combo, which is not particularly good in this matchup, and I have Douthy Voidwalker. Like, this is a hand where my opponent might get out ahead of me of all therapy endurance, and I just lose for it. I'm gonna mulligan. This is a similar hand to the last hand. Do I just go towards a ley line? Like, turn to Douthy Voidwalker is good, but I'm like scared that my opponent is mulliganing aggressively. I think I'm gonna mulligan aggressively. Uh... This has a lot of graveyard hate. I'm going to keep this. Um, I'm not in the market for grief. I don't think I'm ready for a pernicious deed yet. I think I'm just going to keep the green cards here. So, like, I have Leyline on my opponent's five card hand. And I have a backup endurance for if the Leyline gets nuked. Ooh. Sure. Like, that's that's what I like to see. Like, more, more card disadvantage is good here. Absolutely. Okay. So like, I've got some mana problems. I, I, I've I done the classic thing of like mulligan to the hate card without a functional hand beyond that. Never mind, I have a functional hand now. JK. Alright, so this is going to be fetch. I'm just going to take a quick look here. I don't think I want anything more than veteran explorer right now. I will just go ahead and play this out. Like it's possible I'm supposed to just green sun for one. To just use my mana a little bit better. Okay. So Green Sun for two isn't particularly good. I didn't bring in the Collector Oof. Right? Left that in the board. Yeah, I left that in the board. 
attacking for one is just totally fine. Feign death not doing a ton in this exact position. But it doesn't have to right now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. When it goes to 17. I think I'll just uh, hold open mana here. I don't know. I can get Grist going. I think I like that. There's X is 3 for my green sun. Yeah. Okay, we have we have gotten the the GG from the opponent. That's that's enough for them. Yeah. Um, I just kind of stuck stuck them with leyline, and I had some nice bonus stuff here. All right, round three. I've kept my opening hand here. I think we're one and one. Stepped away to eat lunch real quick. We're back at it. So I don't really have a way to sacrifice the veteran explorers easily. I can do it long term, but not in the short term. I have enough sacrifice things in the deck that I can draw that I think this is fine. And I'm going to assume that the Green Sun will probably end up becoming something like an Endurance or a Witherbloom Apprentice rather than another Veteran Explorer. Getting combo vibes from the other side of the table. Oh, just feels like it's going to be like Ant or Storm or something. Or, sorry, I meant to say like Storm or Doomsday. Could be wrong, but what I'm feeling. Okay. We could be playing against Grixis Control with that Feshland. Okay. Uh, not so much with the Grixis Control. I do have an Endurance in hand, though. White? Okay. So, are we actually playing against Storm? Yeah, okay, we are playing against Storm, not Doomsday. Okay. So, I have the Graveyard covered, but this is probably an Ad Nauseum. Okay, that's getting red mana. Okay, it is ad nauseum with red floating, sure. Alright, I've skipped ahead so I don't have to narrate all the individual cards coming in. Um, my opponent does not have a lot of mana here. They have a Cabal Ritual, a few Infernal Tutors, and a Lotus Petal. I wonder if I can stop them. Maybe not anymore. Alright, so there's a Lotus Petal gone. Like a ball ritual, and they only have three mana out of it. That's five mana total. Five mana total does not win the game off Burning Wish here. It's one short of Burning Wish for Tendrils. It can be a Burning Wish for a Galvanic Relay. That's not re. That, that's still probably good enough to beat me, but it means I get another turn at least. So let's send that stuff away. And deny this mana here. Alright. So, opponent has 5 total mana, which does not get to Burning Wish plus kill, and we're too far away for a Grape Shot kill. My Veteran Explorer is a 2 turn clock as things stand right now. Okay. They're going for a Brainstorm based kill instead. Uh. I guess there's some weird Grape Shot things where you kill a Veteran Explorer with one trigger. That's definitely a thing. That's fine. That duress is gone. So Galvanic Relay isn't a thing anymore, if that was something that was even in opponent's sideboard in the first place. I should cross off one of these brainstorms. Dealing game one here is huge, by the way. Oh shit, opponent is going to discard. Nice. We've used this duress. Alright, so everything below the duress just went to graveyard. That's a thought seize that I didn't know about. Mire. Didn't know about. UC. Two infernal tutors. Island. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Um something's off here. Assume that like one of those is gone. Uh yeah. Okay. I mean, like, it it's not like I really have any plays. Um I guess that's not entirely true. I guess there's worlds where I'm supposed to play wooded foothills so that I can fetch Dryad Arbor. That was just objectively a mistake. In case Veteran Explorer gets killed. My opponent does not have a lot of mana. And they cannot fetch. The graveyard's pretty stacked. So like, if they can play a couple of rituals, a couple pieces of fast mana, and like, past in flames. Actually, I guess that's not super true, right? I endurance out a bunch of that stuff. Yeah. 
Okay, there's a ponder. Lethal damage on board. Is this the turn three Nick fit kill? After attacking with a mighty veteran explorer, which is a two turn clock. Hot damn it is. Him. Okay. We have a lot of tools here. Like, I can bring in 11 cards pretty comfortably. Um, Veil is quite good in this matchup. It stops discard and it stops the kill. Um, I basically don't need the top end of my curve at all. Like, I don't need that stuff. I don't need Grist. I probably don't mind Feign Death, but I probably don't need it. So, the first cards that I would want to bring in are those. And now the question is, like, are the Ley Lines worth it? Like, Ley Lines would be coming in for some of these six cards. The Chains are reasonable just as, like, a, a two-mana discard spell that is repeatable in some instances. I'm not sure if I want Ley Line. Like, it's, it's not bad, but, like, with... Endurances and Void Walkers already. I don't know how crazy good those are. I think I'm just going to submit this. Possible I want the Ley Lines for the game where I'm on the draw. Uh, this is going to be a nope from me. This is awkward. So I have two pieces of free interaction. And most of the stuff that I would want... If I draw a land, I have two draws to hit a green land specifically. Ooh, not counting Dryad Arbor. Well, one, two, three, four, five, kind of six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13, 17 hits, 18, 19, 20, 21 hits, 22, 23 hits towards cards that are good. All right. I'll keep this, I think, pitching the Witherbloom Apprentice. Although, if I draw a Grief, I would like to have this card in hand. Maybe I just pitch an Explorer. I don't know if I draw Cabal Therapy and Green Source. That's kind of, kind of tough. Um, I'm going to ignore the Grief and just get rid of the card that is going to be hardest to cast in my hand, I think. See what opponent has to start things off. It just seems like it's going to be a Ponder. All right, that's no Shuffle. They found something they like. A absolutely Punished. Absolutely punished. All right. Such is a life. All right, we pondering. No shuffle again, so opponent is finding cards that they actually do like. Okay. So I have my green mana now. I think I just pass the turn with this mana up. Like, if I had spiked this on an earlier turn, I think that's different. But, like, with where we're at now, I want to be able to Veil of Summer to protect Mind Break Trap. Rainstorm is totally fine. Okay, let's see if like a discard spell or something is going to follow this up. Okay. Absolutely. That's fine. That's just up to six mana. I probably just counter that. Goodbye. Okay, uh, and we have weathered the storm here. I don't think I want to cycle this or anything. Nice. I think I'm going to... Double fetch and slam collector oof here. Again, I, I'm just down with this line. It shuts off a lot of the scarier lines, and I still can mess with the graveyards if there's a incoming Cabal Ritual-based line. It gives me... I, I maybe don't want to call it a real amount of pressure, but it gives me some amount of pressure. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think I play the Grief this turn, although that's pretty close. I I think I like holding up Veil of Summer, um, and Endurance. Well, I kind of hold up one or the other if I want to hard cast the Endurance, which I think I do. Okay, there's a land drop. I'm good with casting this end of turn, just clearing out the graveyard. Okay, that's nice. I can go ahead and crash in with both of these. Put my opponent to 12. This can fetch a forest. Do I have a third bayou? No, I do not have a third bayou. 
Um, but I can fetch forest, which is fine. There's grief. Take the infernal tutor here. You can keep the tendrils. Like, I have veil. So that's all fine. Ooh. So, eight damage, which is lethal next turn. I have three for opposition agent, one for veil of summer. Yes, I can also play that out. So it's not really going to have a meaningful impact on the game. Battle's fine. Battle's fine. Dark Ritual's fine. The Tendrils happens. And I get three additional copies. And I'll cast a Veil of Summer. And we'll get the concession. Okay, cool. So we are now two and one. Okay, um, no mana here. Auto Mulligan. Uh, good luck to you two. Um, I guess I'm keeping this. It's, like, not good, though. I don't have a way to sacrifice this veteran explorer. I can green sun for a dryad arbor. And then try to, like, move in that direction. I guess. I guess this is probably better than going deeper. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on over there. Okay. I think I have to take the Teferi. That's going to accrue card advantage in a way that the other things aren't. I think I'm just going to be okay with that and grab Dryad Arbor. So Prismatic Ending does say non-land permanent, just FYI. Sure. Westing Beast. I, in theory, would like to cast this Green Sun for a larger value a little bit later. Cast a free combat veteran ex or just in case I need to play around days. And bash in for one with my happy little tree friend here. Don't really feel great. Okay, that's a card I didn't know about. Right, prismatic ending eats that. That's all fine. That bobble tells me I might be playing against, like, Displacer Kitten combo. Um, so again, pre-combat for the same reasons as last turn. Bash in for one. Very stuck on mana right now. Ooh. So brainstorm as well. Yep. You get your card. I... I am falling behind. The grief punched a small hole in my opponent's hand. Like, it, it was worth two cards to get rid of that Teferi. That, like, it doesn't just accrue multiple cards over the course of the game and really limit my options, but... Yeah. Not feeling great. Let's uh bash in here with Veteran Explorer. Take my one point of damage, and I think I just have to use my mana on stuff. Like this is very much not optimal. But I think I just have to get these in play. Like I I have planeswalkers that I need to pressure. And this is not a good way to do it, but I might be able to stop them getting an extra card out of Narset or Teferi at some point. If I have a few creatures in play. Now oh, fuck. Murktide? Nope. Okay, there's a fetch first for something. Okay, sure. Ah, sure. That's fine. Ponder? Yeah. Okay. Uh, at this point, I think I'm going to hide all these. All right, there is the Teferi. The Teferi notably is just plussing. Eh. I'll attack both of those at Teferi, just keep the loyalty in check. But I think I die this turn a decent portion of the time. Okay. Our opponent doing some honest-to-goodness grinding here. Fine. I, I really just need to be able to sacrifice one of these so I can get this questing beast into play. Ugh. Multiple Mystic Sanctuaries. Putting a predict on top. Sure. Alright. Combo. Targeting me. So now opponent is going to draw their predict. And then they can cast it on me, predicting away my top card to turn that into an actual draw to. Okay, I didn't want to draw that opposition agent anyway. So I'm always attacking in at Teferi. And I think I have to... Unfortunately, I, like, I think I am in enough danger of just dying to Kitten immediately that I think I have to grief pitching Feign Death. 
rather than hold it to try to get more value out of these cards. Um, and I am not happy about this, but, like, the Fane Death becomes noticeably worse with a Teferi in play. Um, card that might kill me or card that stops my next reasonable play. I think I have to take the Force. Like, one of the ways I see myself winning this game is just, like, sacrificing a Veteran Explorer and taking Questing Beast. Okay, they've got a Ponder, but they started to tap 4 mana, so I think they have Getten. Okay, sure. Oh. Sure. Okay. Unusual. Like... Ah. Uh. Okay. Opponent is f 6 They do not have a, ca a castable card. I'm less sure that Displacer Kitten is actually in the deck. I'm still going to name it. Force of Will, EE, -E, Flooded Strand. Sure. So if I Cabal Therapy, I Cabal Therapy, I go up to 3 mana. Guess I continue to pressure this the Fairy. Oh, maybe I attack this one. Like, the the Force of Will has got to go here. Okay. Do this, target you. Yes. A green. And a black. Sure. Name Force of Will. All at a turn. Now, opponent can use EE to mess with my Veteran Explorer if they want. Okay, they've got an ending. Sure. That's all fine. I would have attacked Jace next last turn. This turns a little better for me. But in the worlds where, like, the Questing Beast doesn't resolve. Really? Ah. <sighs> Yeah, anyway, in the world where the Questing Beast doesn't resolve, like, knocking that Teferi loyalty down so my opponent can't draw a card out of it immediately is very good. Alright, um, that thing's getting close to just drawing seven cards, which is not great for me. I guess we're just casting this for a large number and seeing if it resolves. I can get Endurance. I used Grist already? Oh yeah, I already used Grist. Yeah, I guess I'm getting Endurance and... I'm going to send those cards back into my opponent's deck. I'm a little unsure if that is good or not. Okay. But, like, two of this thing's abilities are, like, relevant with empty library stuff. I don't know. Maybe this is Displacer. Like, maybe this is what exists instead of a single Thassa's Oracle if my opponent does have Displacer Ketten. Like, that's something I should keep in mind. Okay. I'm not in good shape after losing that questing beast. That was kind of huge. Like, my opponent's got to draw seven next turn if they want it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to cast it. I don't know that it's going to work, but I'm going to cast it. Not catch a break with those Force of Wills. But I also don't have the mana to Cabal Therapy first. So, you know, there's that. Yep. Draw. Casual draw seven. Alright. I'm just gonna ask my opponent if I am dead. Okay, opponent has another day, Jace, so I will concede to them. I am I am not going to uh have them click through that. So my sideboard stuff doesn't help me out a ton. I can use Veil to protect against counter magic. That's okay. Pernicious Deed missing Planeswalkers is kind of a big deal. Like, I can technically hold up a bunch of mana and Pernicious Deed, Deed stops them from comboing off, but I don't really feel great about that. I think I'm looking at these five cards. Like, Oof stops the combo. Veil of Summer helps force my stuff through, and Paradox Zone is just another banger. I think I'm going to trim the Void Voidwalkers. I don't know. Dalthy Voidwalker Feign Death is sort of interesting in a very long and grindy matchup. That's very cute. I think I do want my own infinite combo. I don't know, like, Douthy Voidwalker is probably not doing his thing some portion of the time. I can probably go down on Fane Deaths or cut them entirely. They're not exactly fantastic versus exile-based removal decks. But, like, I could do that and then, like, trim a Grief or something like that. Or trim an Endurance. 
Maybe trim an endurance. And keep these because they can pressure early creatures. Uh, yes, this has a pretty quick goldfish. <laughs> Opponent says, thanks for the conceding. Doing all of this with my three-year-old on my lap is not ideal. No prob. I don't want to waste our time either. All right. Bayou Explorer, go. And I might kind of try to play this out in a way that I can play all of my combo pieces with protection of some nature. And just like jam a Douthy Voidwalker this turn instead of a Witherbloom Apprentice. Although I don't know, like going for the turn three combo is kind of cool too. Yeah. Let's let's get in there. Like if opponent doesn't pass with white up, I potentially just kill them. It becomes a little more awkward if like this gets prismatic ending, but like Veil of Summer doesn't stop that anyway, right? And I just like don't go for the combo if opponent has white mana up. All right, that is no shuffle there. Ooh. All right. So let's go and take my attacks in. Yeah. Drop my opponent to 16. I think I'll wield grief pitching Douthy Voidwalker. Like, I don't have to be in a hurry, but it seems fine here. Eh. Such is life. Ugh. Good God. I'm not beating that pile of shit. Wow. Take that Stoneforge Mystic, because, like, a Cauldra just flipping into play is horrifying. Play this as a raw discard, too. I think I like the idea of it. I discard EE e. and Jace. And they did not copy it. Okay. I do not like my position. For sure, sure. Oh, no. That's so bad. Yeah, I might need to just cycle Veil of Summer here. My opponent played Brainstorm this turn. I think I just need to cycle this and try to find a discard spell to take out that Cauldra. Fuck yeah, I would have drawn it anyway, but the extra look at that is nice. I don't think I want my opponent to block here. All right, Cabal Therapy, target you. Name Cauldra. I saw that. Okay, cool, cool. Cabal Therapy, target you. Sacrificing Veteran Explorer. Yes. Grab one of each. All right. So my opponent can cast Predict if they want to just change that into a random card. Do I want to name Ponder or Predict? I think I want to name Predict. Right, let's get that out of there. Leave them with a Ponder. And I'll call that good. I might be able to randomly grab a Stoneforge in combat. That's expected. Um... Situation is a lot better than I thought it was going to be as of like two turns ago. All right, that's no shuffle. Nice. Um, we can attempt to ambush this card in combat. I'll send all that stuff back into their deck. Okay. They do have the Swords of Plowshares for my critter. Ooh, yeah. That means it's not hitting this. There's a Questing Beast. Bash in for four. Uh, and this is not blockable by Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, they're just passing the turn here. Ooh, a buddy. Let's crash in, see if this happens. It does. Opponent very well could have a Force of Will here. But I am fine casting this. Like, I still have a Castle Locked Wayne to acquire cards if they do not. Or if they do have it, rather. Uh, this card is exceptionally difficult to beat. Yeah, your Jace is fine. I'll just be going for the throat here, I think. Ooh. Take out my Questing Beast. Take out my Fractal Token. Sure. That's fine. I can just attack you directly. Because the same amount of damage is going to be dealt to Jace as well. Actually, do I even want to play this in case there's a board wipe? I can just... Draw a card. Yeah, let's just draw a card here. I don't think the Douthy Voidwalker really matters. Okay, well, we're going to do it like that. Um, out of fetchable sources of that color. Okay. Paradox Zone spirals out of control pretty quickly. That's all fine. That's no shuffle. 
Okay. You have like a batter skull too? Yet there is a batter skull. All right. Sure. Sure. You're one card too late. So if I attack in with both of these, batter skull comes in. My opponent trades with probably questing beast. Their life total stays the same. They lose a germ token. I could just like wait to attack until next turn. And just play out my other cards. Alternatively, I send one of these at Jace, one of them at them. I think I'm just going to play out Douthy Voidwalker and hold up Opposition Agent. And then just, like, take my giant Fractal token. Okay, Brainstorm is fine. And my opponent will drop in the Batter Skull, which is also fine. Ponder away. No Shuffles still. Oh, I guess... That makes sense, given that ability. Okay, Snapcaster can Prismatic Ending away this, like, Fractal token. Oh, nope, okay. They've got something they're looking for. I guess, like, an EE is pretty good. That one did shuffle. Okay, this Opposition Agent is strong. Okay, let's get a quick peek in there. Uh, nothing unexpected. I'm going to just take this Mystic Sanctuary out of their deck. They don't have access to that for later. That's all fine. All right, take your card. Um, I'll play that and just immediately draw a card. See if it changes anything here. It does not. Oh, shit, I just have a Shadow Creature. If I just attack with this, opponent's dead unless they have Source of Plowshares. I think I like that attack. Every time. That's okay. But like, now I just work towards doing an attack that is assuredly lethal. Next turn is pretty good in terms of just, like, taking all of these bodies out of the way. I'll dismiss this. I also probably don't need my own graveyard up. Actually, my own graveyard is probably more important than that zone. Now that the Douthy Voidwalker isn't in play anymore. Okay, there's another land drop. There's a Chain of Smog. I'm fine with just casting that pre-combat. Limit my opponent's options. Get more information now. Snapcaster for a source of plowshares. Opponent trying their absolute damnedest to stay alive. Another piece of equipment? Oh shit, I put the Cauldra back into their deck, didn't I? Yeah, I guess I did. Oh, that's awkward. That's very awkward. All right, let's draw some cards. Yeah, that thing equipped with Batter Skull is horrifying. You're just a touch late. Already made a land drop. I've already made a land drop. So if I attack in with all this stuff, not actually super profitable for me. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't get in with any of these. My opponent gains some life. I lose a couple creatures. Oh, that's so awkward. All right. I will just make continuously bigger fractals. Is this a May? May. That's fine. It's gonna be the equip to the cauldra. Yes. So I can just keep blocking with my like something that is as large as this every turn. It's not actually that big of a deal because my opponent can't really win through that. Like as it stands now. And like I will replace that creature every turn. So endurance is a thing like where I might endurance myself. This has menace, which is interesting. And also just hold this in exile until I want to put a chain of top smog on top of my deck. Let's grief my opponent with that one random card is. Alright. Take a predict. Awkwardly kind of pass the turn here. Not really a good place for this card. You can hang out over there, I guess. Yep. That's fine. All therapy's kind of whatever. I'll just block with the 8-8 eight, eight this time. That good. Just continue to draw cards with Castle Locked Wayne. Uh, EE for zero is interesting. Let's draw a card. The Chain of Smog that I don't really want, unless I draw Witherbloom Apprentice. 
What happens if I crash it with both of these fractals? My opponent just chump blocks one and I lose another one randomly. Maybe that's fine. Basic island. Yep. I'll just let the paradox zone do its thing. And then when my opponent gets close to, uh, close to milling me out, I'll play endurance and use a cabal therapy to make sure it's safe. Okay with the, where things are at. Fine. Casually chump block with the 32 32. NBD. I'm still fine with just drawing cards here. My Witherbloom Apprentice in particular is just very good. Uh, that is a Witherbloom Apprentice. Wall Therapy. Target you. I'm going to try to name Force of Will here. We hit. Three mana. Green Sun for X is two. Witherbloom Apprentice. Chain of Smog. Target me. Discarding two. Always yield. There's the concession to the combo. Ugh. What a grind. Didn't expect that. So I could have gotten more aggressive in the early game in trying to end that game. Putting Cauldra back into the deck was a problem I didn't really anticipate. I might need Pernicious Deed as an answer to Batter Skull. As wild of a statement as that is to say. Yeah, like Douthy Voidwalker's out, maybe. Just said Deed as something that can answer Planeswalkers, random chump blockers, all that stuff. Um, yeah. It's also possible, like, Collector Oof isn't good enough, but it also stops equips. Endurance is better than I thought it was. Maybe I go down a Veil. Keep another one of these. Like, my opponent milling me to death is more real than I expected it to be. Uh, no. Uh, that's not great. Is it worth going down on cards for a game that might last as long as it does? I don't know that it is. I'm going to send away the grief here. I, I don't think I want a two-for-one myself. Like, this game is going to go long some portion of the time. I also think I'm going to preemptively remove this stop. Got a couple minutes of clock deficit to make up for. All right. Um, Swamp, Ball Therapy, Target You, name Stoneforge. That's the card that I'm currently the most scared about. Stoneforge, Mystic. Nice. How good's the rest of the hand? The rest of the hand's okay. Like it means that an opposition agent isn't just going to, like, check all my opponent's lands or anything like that. There's the Brainstorm. And a tapped land. My opponent may or may not have these cards in hand at this exact moment. Um, put that on human. Call it a turn. There's worlds where I want to sandbag this for another turn or two, but like, there's some worlds where I need to use this as a removal spell, so I'd rather not play this, and I'd like to have the flexibility with this land. But like, maybe I'm just wrong. Yeah, maybe I'm like always getting by with this. That was a mistake. Okay, there's a land drop. Into a Teferi, absolutely. Teferi really dampens the power of my opposition agent. That is what it is. So that card's used. Play this. Crack, grab a Bayou. We're going to play opposition agent. And it probably eats the swords to plowshares. I think that's fine. I think I'm going to force my opponent to use the mana to do that. Like, I can th Cabal Therapy and probably hit. But I'm kind of hoping that a scenario is created where I can just bash in with this Questing Beast successfully. That does require me playing the Boseju. Or Predict is fine. Oh, this is a killer Questing Beast if it resolves. Um, oh, that's, that's worth Force of Will checking for, I think. A Grief, Pitching, Chain of Smog. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's... Oh, no. Ho-ho-ho! <laughs> I can take this Force of Will to try and get in there and kill that Teferi. And then opponent still has full combo in hand, but has to use some mana to get rid of Questing Beast first. Oh, this is some shit, though. Um, I'm taking that. Uh, not... <laughs> Not pleased with how good that hand looks over there. Alright. Attack you. This kills the onboard Teferi. 
It allows me to live on for another day. Um, but probably not for very long. Opponent has a lot of choices for how they can play this turn. They can just like Teferi plus and then Swords of Plowshares this questing beast. And then kill me the following turn with Displacer Kitten most of the time. Okay, they're just going for the bounce. That's fine too. Very safe defensively. Uh, yeah, I think I'm dead. So, like, I was playing towards opponent missing that land drop, uh, which they did not do. And then I just died a Blazer Kitten here. Oh? I'm apparently wrong. Oh, maybe they, maybe they have, like, legit boarded out their actual combo finish or something. Uh, castle. Tavern on human. Call it a turn. That's fine. I'm gonna just F6 here. I'm not gonna intend on fetching a Dryad Arbor. Like, that doesn't seem super profitable to me. Uh, yeah. Counterable. Fetch. And I'm just doing it like this so that I can F6 my opponent's turn since I am low on clock. Um, I maybe should have considered Cabal Therapy just Placer Kitten, but like, my opponent hasn't just like won the game with it yet. Like, I guess they don't have a zero drop artifact at all. Yeah. I guess I was supposed to... I don't know. Like, they just had the stuff to go with it there. Um, Ball Therapy, target you. Sacrifice Dryad Arbor. Name Displacer Kitten. It's gone. Their hand is very good. Play out a new opposition agent. They just realized I used Cavern of Souls for that. Draw a card with my castle. Sure, Collector Oof is okay. Um, pull out a turn. Mapcaster's fine. Target predict. Sure, sure, sure. Alright, Mill Scalding Tarn. Draw two. That's all fine. Not in the best position here. I'm not in the worst position either. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So they're going to try to take out these opposition agents. I'm A-OK -okay with that. I would love some other things to get involved here. Uh, but we'll just kind of be playing off the top with whatever I've got. Um, I should have made that uncounterable. Um, just a little error there. There's an oof. There's a card draw. Ooh. That's not bad. A lot of Snapcaster Mage. Uh, you can towards, I guess, my oof. Okay, my collector, sure. So, Seed is interesting. All right, opponent going for Force of Will. Okay, they're just predicting it away. That's that's fair. This Pernicious Deed's real good if it resolves, but I believe my opponent does have Force of Will. Um, I think I'm on board with that. Actually, I think I'm on board with both. Because I'm going to attempt to deed. Grab one of each. Alright. This is my bait spell. I'm going to go ahead and cast this. Send away your graveyard. Attempt to cast this. Get this countered. Don't get this countered. Um, I will do this for two. And make you hard cast your cauldra. Okay, so this has been used. Okay, there is the hard cast on Cauldra, and unfortunately this is indestructible, as is the germ. That's just a thing. I attempt to kill this Teferi, which opens up some lines for me. Back to Fairy. Successfully take it out. Attempt a chain of smog on my opponent. That's fine. Draw a card. Um this destroys, unfortunately. Again, indestructible. Uh, yep. Good. I can't automatically just replay that now. That's fine. Predict. Yeah, Cauldra is such a pain. I'm in trouble. Cast that. My opponent is just going to fire off a Force of Will for the sake of ease and clock here. I'll fire off another one of these. And your stuff back. Um, I don't have the appropriate stuff available with this. Call it a turn there. 
F6, and if they happen to play Batter Skull, I'll undo that. Alright, life's not great. Okay. Veteran Explorer. I'm just gonna play this to get this out of my hand. Keep that one. Activate this. Draw card. Grief. That has Menace. That's worth something. Yeah, there's a Force of Will. That's fine. Opponent has plenty of time to just hit me three times with this. Yeah, and we're just going to see, like, super aggro plays as the clock kind of goes down here. Fine. All right, there is a kitten. Um, so this is technically a win uh, if my opponent has more clock, which they very much don't. So not going to concede to that here. I'll take five from that hit. That's uncounterable. Fuck that nukes a graveyard. Nuke that. Draw card. It's a paradox zone, uh, which is actually pretty good. Makes it hard to deal those last couple of points to me, but I think opponent can just like blink a bunch of this shit out of play. And like be good in that capacity. Yeah. Yeah, so that re-blinks the Teferi. I can blink this out. And I think that is just going to kill me, effectively. There's Veteran Explorer. There's Endurance. Me. There's Paradox Zone. Okay, so I get my token, but I think I'm just dead. Like, opponent just needs to cast a spell of some kind. And do a couple of clicks here in a meaningful amount of time. Yeah, that bounces one of these. And then with just a couple of seconds left. Oh, I don't think my opponent should have cast that. I think that times them out. Yeah. Uh, we take those. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I don't think my opponent should have cast that extra card. I think they should have just, like, bashed in with their trampler. And then I just, like, get the... Like, they do the single final point of damage to me. I, I, I think they lost that one for casting that last card. But, like... When you're scrambling with zero time on the clock, like you can't always think that stuff through. Okay, so we're three and one, and that took an hour to play. I've kept my hand for the final round here, and so like kind of the question that I'm currently pondering is like, do I play Veteran Explorer on turn one, or do I just play a blind Cabal Therapy on turn one? And I'm gonna see if my opponent like repeatedly plays the same deck here before I make that decision. Von Jarber. Uh, last finish is with a blue-black deck. It is a, like an Echo Emery sort of deck. Sure. Uh, they have a single finish. It's from more than two months ago. I'm not going to take a lot of stock in that, so I think I'm just going to play Veteran Explorer and pass here. All right, Force of Will playing Ponder. Okay. So they are playing a different deck than what they had their trophy with. Uh, sure. I'm going to reset this upkeep stop now. Just I'm more used to it. Are we just playing? All right. We are playing against the Delvery boys here. Um, do I want to play around days? Not really. I want to strict stick Dalthy Voidwalker as soon as possible so my opponent can't grow this thing and can't get a bunch of things in there to play a Merktide Regent later. Um... That's fine, especially since opponent used a force of will already. Let's jam this. Like, if we get dazed, we get dazed, but there's decently high upside to keeping some cards from getting... Oh, green? Hello? Green mana? Okay, that's a ledger shredder going to exile. So what does my opponent want in green? Probably Uro. Uh, opponent should have attacked here. This has Shadow. I could get a Ledger Shredder. Do I want a Ledger Shredder? I don't think I want a Ledger Shredder. Yeah, I don't think I do. Like, Shadow as unblockable here is pretty clutch. And I'll cast this Opposition Agent in response to a fetch land. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Punishing Fire. That's a little spicy. Dragon Rage Channel are just not, not attacking in. Probably means that my opponent does not have 
a clean way of dealing with this. Okay. So Seiju is pretty cute in this spot. I think I want to Cabal Therapy my opponent pre-combat. Just, I just want to get a feel for what's going on over there. Punishing Fire, targeting the Douthy Voidwalker. What, how big's the bottom? This, this is a 1-3. I think I'm going to both Seiju this Grove. Yeah. I will get a land here. Um, I guess I should take a picture of this. Okay, so we've got Ledger Shredder, Life from the Loam, Uro, Punishing Fire. <laughs> Opponent did not like that. Um, I guess I take green sources to make it harder for my opponent to Uro. Now I can let this go to the graveyard, I think, and just get a Ledger Shredder. I'm good with that. Ledger Shredder. Now I get to Cabal Therapy them. I see one, two, three. I see four Force of Wills. I see three Expressive Iterations. That's probably a four of in this deck. I see the one Ledger Shredder I have one more in deck. Is that a two of? I think Expressive Iteration is 100% a four of. So let's name that. Okay, there's a Murktide Regent and another Punishing Fire in hand. I'll go ahead and cast this card. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Do I just want to give up my Opposition Agent in order to get rid of Murktide Regent? I think so. Wall Therapy. Well, I guess, sorry, I can attack with Opposition Agent, agent safely first. Uh, this game has been super neat so far. All right. Take three, go to 12, Wall Therapy, target you. Oh, actually, I, have, I, I can try at Arbor here. That sounds even better. Dryad Arbor, Ball Therapy, target you, sacrifice the Dryad Arbor, take the Murktide Regent, leaving you with Punishing Fire, and I have a bonus land drop that I can play from Exile next turn as well. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'm okay with that. Like my my Ledger Shredder will be better than a lot of these other cards pretty quickly. Um uh, I just want to play this now. I don't really have to. I'll just attack for the one. I am fine with taking the three. I will get a 12. My endurances are going to be really good in this matchup. End of turn, drop this in. Ah, uh, that's gross. It's like not that bad for me because I can just uh, like chain of smog and get rid of those, but not really what I want to happen. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and try to maximize my value here. Like, as much as I want to Chain of Smog and Junk this, I, ne I need to play this Endurance. If I play it now, I better play around Murktide Regent. And if I wait, I'm better at killing this thing in combat, which I think I care about. Yep. So here's the attempt at Endurance. Nice, nice. Nuke the Graveyard. Get to go ahead and block and take out this card for free. Yeah, that lightning bolt's fine. Bring away a Dragon Rage Channeler. We trade those cards, and I'm going to attempt to Chain of Smog the remainder of your stuff out of your hand. Honestly, it's gross. Like, my deck is absolutely doing its fucking thing right now. I guess I discard this the vast majority of the time anyway. So given that, let's go ahead and cast this. Same, like... Of course it will, doesn't make sense. We'll name like Brainstorm. Arctide Regent Letters. I, I, I knew cards. All right. And then that takes out both of those cards without allowing my opponent to hide something on top. All right, so they have a Brazen Borrower Chilling in Exile, but I've shut off Fetch Lands, so they don't actually have that many cards that will get them to that third mana. That's one of them. But I've cleared out a lot of that stuff. Um, do I want to trade Opposition Agent for this card? No, it can only block creatures with flying. Never mind. Go ahead and crash on in here with this creature. Put my opponent to two. And then I will just do an upkeep endurance. Or I guess I can do it now since they're hellbent and just make it harder for a Murktide Regent to slip into play here. All right. 
goodbye cards. Uh, opponent has a handful of things that will keep them alive for a turn, but their position's bad. Okay. Um, opponent doesn't have dazes. They have force of wells. I like ley lines here. I like the graveyard hate a lot. If I had some abrupt decays, I don't think I would like deed without any of that sort of stuff. I think this is fine. I also think this matchup might be grindy enough that I play Paradox Zone. What don't I want? I don't really like Questing Beast. It's it's a 4-4 four four. that's a little hard to block. Like, the haste is cool, the death touch is kind of cool. I don't know. I need this stuff some portion of the time to, to like, race a Murktide Regent that gets put into play. I don't think I like the Opposition Agents on the draw. I think I probably go down a couple of Feign Death. A card I don't mind having, but it's not a card that I need. I don't know. Maybe if I am bringing in another finisher, I can cut one of these. And then I'm unsure from there. Like, having something with reach that I can GSZ for in the late game is super cool. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's more copies of Feign Death. Or uh, maybe it's some number of Grief. I don't really want to pitch cast Grief in the early game. Maybe I keep more Feign Deaths. The opponent's very good at finding Lightning Bolts, and Feign Death is nice, nice if I chump block something. Um, uh, A little clunky. I think I'll keep it. Like, basically, I like everything in the hand that's not the Dryad Arbor. The Dryad Arbor is, like, very much not good here. Yeah, cool, cool. So my opponent does have Wasteland. So that's a thing to think about. I think accordingly I will start off like this. But, like, if I'm trying to do double black next turn, like, that's not necessarily the line. Okay, we're, we're going to stare at each other a bit, and I'm good with that. All right. Fetch. Uh, black mana. I'm fine with making an attack in. Like, I would trade here. I would feign death if that happened, but I would trade here. Okay. Good stuff. All therapy target you. First one will name Brainstorm. Ooh. That is a good force of negation. Sure. So this isn't good right now. Because my Dryad Arbor is in hand. I think I'll just call it a turn there. I'm going to end up taking one. Which is fine. Okay, so... Got a screenshot of most of my opponent's deck here. There are not... Any basic lands here. So that means that... Boseju is a land destruction spell. Uh, unless there was something randomly in a zone that I can't see, or there was one in their hand. So, I think I'm good with doing that. Okay, you can blow to mana. We'll see if there was, like, an island in their hand. Oh, shit, that lets them search for anything. Yeah, fuck, I had the opposition agent before. Okay, that was a, that was a dumb. I did a dumb. Okay, punishing fire me. Okay. That was stupid. Uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, this is my 15th round of magic today. I'm not apologizing for what I just did, but, uh, it has been a long day of recording. Or rather long afternoon of recording, more accurately, I guess. I know my opponent doesn't have days. So I think I'm just gonna get, like, a second Wither Bloom Apprentice here. And then attempt to Chain of Smog combo next turn. So I guess I can just do this. All right, there's the therapy. That is another force of negation. So there was only one of those in their main deck in game one. Okay. Do I want to now green sun for another veteran explorer? Not really. I don't. I don't think I'm going to attack there. I'm planning on winning this game via an infinite combo if at all possible. Sure, that's strong. They do not like that grove. Because Punishing Fire is a thing. I'm not rewarded for holding back the blockers anymore. Not the best. Let's just draw a Black Source. <laughs> Damn it. Drawing the Black Source would have made these Feign Deaths just so good. So I think I need to draw some heat away from my Dryad Arbor. I will accomplish by getting another Wither Bloom Apprentice. I'll crash in with my Veteran Explorer. 
and I'll hope to draw a black source so that I can play Wither Bloom Apprentice and Chain of Smog next turn in combo off, or alternatively play a second Wither Bloom Apprentice and combo off that way. Fuck, my Dryad Arbor. Yeah, I, I think I lost myself this game by fucking up that one turn. I think that's on me. I, I just absolutely did a dumb. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead, and, go ahead and play this. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to attack in for three. Yeah. I just need opponent to pull the trigger on this. Punishing fire, targeting that little man. Uh, so I'll, I'll let them surveil first. Now, I will feign death. Always yield to that. You've used two force of negations and a force of will. Yeah, so you can return your punishing fire. That's fine. Okay, they are not. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. Now they're going to go ahead and pay for that. Then they can discard the Punishing Fire. Cool value. Force of Will happens. Now I think I need to feign, feign death again. So that this thing stays alive. And then I can try to rip another land next turn for um, Wither Bloom Apprentice and Chain of Smog in the same turn cycle. Fetch! <laughs> Has to be Bayou. More Feign Death. It does, unfortunately, allow the Ledger Shredder to connive again. Uh, triggers Punishing Fire again. Alright. So, all that results in this becoming a 3-3. And I will poke my opponent for one point of damage. Now, as a 3-3, this does now live through Punishing Fire. I would still like to play Wither Bloom Apprentice followed by Chain of Smog, just for more redundancy. Alright, I am eating 5... Going to five. Opponent has two cards left. They have used two Force of Negations and two Force of Wills and pitched two more. So I'm going for it. The question is, like, is there any reason to attack first? I don't think so. I don't want to randomly run into, like, an Endurance in combat and just get fucked. All right. Chain of Smog, target me. I guess returning with Punishing Fires is a thing. Just always yield to those. All right. Guard two cards. Copy this. Same targets. Ah, fuck, opponent has the lightning bolt. Okay. That's fine. Uh, yes, I'll copy this spell. Target you this time. Get a brainstorm out of there. That's unfortunate. Uh, so I'm not technically dead, but uh, Punishing Fire uh, ends up killing me. Yeah. That's disappointing. I probably punted that one. Okay, I don't know that I want to change anything about how I've sideboarded here. Like, I I feel good about the cards that are in the deck. I feel good about the combo. I feel very good about the graveyard hate. I think that's very important. Still a little unsure if I should have that Elder Gargaloth in the deck. Uh, yeah. I think I'm fine with opening up on some basic lands here to avoid Wasteland in the first couple of turns. I don't... Oh, wow. Okay. That seems incredibly aggressive to me. Okay. No follow-up. Surgical Extraction Veteran Explorer. Okay. I'm good with it. If they already had the Veteran Explorer, like, they... Sorry, if they already had the Surgical Extraction, they could just, like, let me kill that and then, uh... just Surgical it in response to its trigger. I think I wait up a turn to hold up feign death on this creature like especially with my opponent holding up a red mana for lightning bolt here like my my opponent will know this is coming but i don't think that actually matters in the grand scheme of things that's fine that's a shuffle i think i'll play out castle lockwain before bayou <laughs> cool yeah because i want to have access to green green later all right, so there is a Witherbloom Apprentice holding up a Feign Death for removal. Okay, we're just uh, we're just gonna stare at each other. So there's no main deck. In Jesus, so there's no like main deck endurance. It's possible there's one in the sideboard, and I'm walking into this in combat. But like, I've got a Feign Death, so like, that is what it is. I think I'll call it a turn here, and I'm probably willing to pay for life for a card on current board. Or I guess it's 5 life, right? 
Yeah, it would be five life. Pain to death. Get a little, little drainy poo out of it. If they randomly surgical this too. Oh, okay. The opponent like knew that was coming. Okay, it's a life from the loam. That's fine. Okay. Go ahead and bash in for three. My opponent to ten. Let's cast a Cabal Therapy. Worth some drain. My opponent to nine. So opponent could have cast a Murktide Regent. They could have cast a Ledger Shredder. They could have Brazen Borrowed my creature already. So Expressive Iteration. Or maybe a Force of Will. Let's do Expressive Iteration. Okay. There's Brazen Borrower and Force of Will. How cheeky do I want to get? I could cast a Feign Death on this creature here and then do Cabal Therapy nonsense. Do that. I also think I should have named Force of Will. You're going to Petty Theft that. That's fine. So now I think it's fine to go ahead and play this out again. I'm playing that out while I know Force of Will is not a thing that can get involved. It's a little awkward if, like, Punishing Fire specifically gets drawn this turn. Okay, that's fine. Great Dragon Rage Channeler. Okay, that's that. The so Dragon Rage Channeler is the last card in hand. Uh, that means my opponent is deterministically dead. Oh shit, there's one unknown card, I guess. Okay. So I can play Land Drop. Pain death, target this creature. Cabal therapy, target you, name force of will. Go ahead and do that now. Note, I could have taken an attack, but I don't want to trade this thing in combat. Name force of will. Alright, ledger shredder is their final card. Pain of smog. Target me. And that'll be the game. And so we end up with a 4-1 in this league. Overall thoughts on the deck list. Honestly? Pretty good. Like, I'm not necessarily sold on every single card here, but I felt like we had a pretty cohesive whole. Um, I'm still very skeptical on Veil of Summer. Like, it was very useful in the Ant matchup that we played. And, like, I brought it in versus some of the control decks, but, like, especially in the world of, like, Teferi Time Raveler, I just don't feel like Veil of Summer has, like, the huge role versus control that, that it used to. Um, I am curious if some of these should be other anti-blue cards, or if some of these should be some spot removal spells. Like, I do definitely... Feel like the deck needs spot removal a decent amount of the time, and maybe you don't play the full playset of Feign Death. Um, but this is a deck full of neat interactions and relatively good cards. Um, again, some of these cards are kind of whatever. The the Elder Gargaroth is like a cool curve topper, but like, is that going to be better on average than something like Titania? I don't know. Like, it is very nice to have something endgame that can block smaller Merktide Regents and, like, Dragon Rage Channelers and things like that, and, like, it can gain you some life. Um, but generally speaking, outside of, like, maybe Cauldra, I feel like we had pretty good answers to most of the things that our opponents were throwing at us. That was a hell of a league in my 15th round of Magic today, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day make some dinner, play some Dungeons and Dragons. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, click the like button on your way out. If you have any thoughts about the deck list, I would appreciate you throwing those in the comments. If you end up wanting to try these out or get one of your own decks on the channel, that information, as always, is available in the video description. Have a great rest of the day. See ya!